Hey, Glenn here. Are you overwhelmed by the digital marketing landscape or maybe you're underwhelmed by your current digital marketing agency? Well, G-Commerce's well-thought-out marketing campaigns draw their strength from the synergy of multiple disciplines working in concert and guided by an overlying strategy to drive new customer acquisition at the absolute lowest cost. They pride themselves on seamless customer service that makes you feel like you're part of the team, facing challenges and celebrating successes together. Your business is unique and your marketing should be too. Contact them today for a free assessment of your digital marketing health and how they can help you improve. Visit gcommercesolutions.com to claim your assessment. But more importantly, guys, listen, this is Glenn speaking to you right from the heart. These guys helped create my NoVacancyNews.com website. It is amazing. It is awesome. And it helped transform my life. They helped kickstart my business and they can help you too. So visit GCommerceSolutions.com and claim that assessment. Hey, and tell them Glenn sent you. Welcome to the Hotel Tech Podcast. This is the show where we tackle your most pressing issues to bring your business more wins. Keeping up with technology is challenging. Our experts are here to help you figure it all out. Here's your hosts, Glenn Hausman and Estella Hale. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Hotel Tech Podcast. I'm psyched for another exciting show. And my name is Glenn Hausman. Why am I psyched? Because I have the incredible chief product evangelist with SHR with me. Of course, that's Scepter Hospitality Resources. One of the smartest tech people I know. And that's Miss Estella Hale. <laughs> Estella, how are you today? I am doing great, Glenn. Thank you so much. Your introductions are always very humbling. Well, I appreciate that. But I'm very excited of being here with you. And also, uh, <laughs> thanks for taking up the uh, the slack for having me as your co-host because you always ask such great <laughs> questions. And uh, speaking of great questions, I sometimes wish, Estella, that I was a chatbot. I wouldn't have to work so hard thinking. I could, uh, you know, I could totally <laughs> get involved in just sitting around while all those words are come out of my my mouth automatically. I don't have to deal with it. Um, but I'm seeing that this is really starting to happen now with these conversational chatbots. They have completely taken off in the hospitality industry. And they're creating something called conversational e-commerce, really helping to connect better with guests and to take us through why this is happening and some of the opportunities that are afforded this with us with this technology. We have Mr. Lex Ten Veen. He's the EVP of Strategic Partnerships at uh, Uberall. Lex, how are you today? And what'd you think of my segue? Thank you for, jo uh, for allowing me to join. Thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, excited to, uh, to be part of this podcast. And uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Looking forward to, uh, to our conversation. Uh, yeah, so I think um, uh, let's get started by kind of orienting people to what this all is all about. I think typically in the hospitality industry, we're getting an idea of what chatbots are. We're starting to use them in our day-to-day -day lives. It's very rare to go on any website anymore, or make an inquiry without it being a, uh, a chatbot. But one thing I've never heard before, conversational e-commerce. I know it's related, but Lex, tell us how. Right, right, I will. Um, so basically, uh, what, uh, what is conversational commerce? Obviously, I think, you know, it's most easily described as the intersection between messaging apps, as we know them, and, and shopping, right? Um, and basically, what we do is, uh, or, you know, it's a technology that empowers brands and consumers to interact directly with each other. Um, and that, that is basically powered partially through uh, chatbots and uh, AI um, and used by, uh, obviously, the, the rise of uh, voice assistants and uh, and apps of all for, uh, of all sorts uh but basically conversational commerce what it is is uh, it it um uh, it's it's the, it's the intersection between messaging and uh, and shopping um and empowers the brands to directly you know interact with consumers and lex i think one of the the, the things that um i'd love for our, our audience to to grasp and to and to for us to to dive into a little bit more also is that the, the concept that chatbots are not just about chat, that chatbots are also for voice and for voice search and for discovery of those, those interactions, even voice interactions that happen pretty much every day. Can you tell us right. more about that? Yes, of course, uh, of course, happy to. Uh, obviously, voice search is increasingly in the rise, and uh, as, as we just touched upon, uh, you know, basically the messaging apps powering uh, powering conversational commerce 
are more and more mm -hmm. driven by voice and uh, voice-enabled search. Now, what does a character? What, what, what does voice search characterize? In uh, in our opinion, it's uh, it's basically a much more natural way to ask questions. So, as if, as if it's as if you're ask, asking uh, a human uh, a question. What does that allow, uh, or what does it um, mean? Is that it's basically um, all about structuring your data as a brand. And structuring mm -hmm. your data means that uh, the, the the type of questioning is going to be much more contextual, right? Um, and therefore, we need to serve a lot more data in order to provide the right answers. And chatbots are just another means, you know, uh, are basically able to structure that and uh, come up with the right answers uh, uh, for you. So what you see is that the, the typical messaging mm -hmm. apps are more serviced by uh, voice queries. And whether it's actually voice or, or text, in the end, it's all about how can we serve the right answer, uh, either automated through chatbots um, um, uh, to the audience. So that's uh, that's what I see as a, a significant rise in the, in the in the voice technology, and for us as an industry to basically uh, enable brands to be ready for the uh, explosive growth of uh, voice-enabled search uh, by consumers. Well, I think what we're talking about here with uh, conversational e-commerce is one of the uh, the hotel brands out there is already implementing a test program for this. So I could be at a hotel outside uh, Disneyland where they're doing this this test, and. Um, use the chat bot to find out if uh, I could get a spa appointment or restaurant reservations or late checkout or whatever. And it'll seem as if it's having a conversation with me with a computer generated voice. Is that kind of what we're, we're talking about? Absolutely. Um, that, that's, that's just part of the, you know, uh, part of the op opportunity, I guess, uh, for, for, for brands to engage with, uh, with, uh, with, with our guests in this case, like hotels, um, and, and provide for, uh, and, you know, customer support and ask questions, get personalized recommendations, uh, but also uh, in, in a more exploratory phase prior to the actual uh, experience at a hotel when booking for a hotel uh, you can also use voice for uh, you know to to, uh, to read reviews for instance and uh, and basically enable uh, you know drive the commerce by allowing voice and uh, uh, messaging platforms to to click to purchase so uh, so there's a, I think it, it covers much more than just the experience while you're in the hotel but yes. you know those are very much Customer support issues, indeed, but uh, but also in the pre-purchase phase, uh, so to say, and and post post-purchase, obviously, to continue to engage with your consumer uh, to create loyalty. And that is so exciting to me, Lex. I think I think coming from a technologist background, coming from uh, uh, in our company, we've launched over. I don't know, seven or eight booking engine experiences throughout the years. We respond with billions of messages and availability requests and responses every year. And to be able to see in the horizon that voice can now bring us just new discoveries on what the path to purchase is. You know, we, we, we see hotels invest so much on their digital marketing in trying to look at that, at that conversion based on, on clicks, but voice really opens a no, new frontier on, on the discovery of that path. Yeah, I totally consent. I totally consent, and it, it, it provides us a wealth of information or data basically to analyze and uh, act upon. Exactly. And, the, and that's a way to find intent. I, I, I know intent is it's it's also a, a technical a technical term that is used, but but I find that it has so much meaning uh, 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 to to be able to start defining those intents as we say as we see segmentation on the hotelier side start to become narrower and narrower in order to target the best offer for a consumer. So, so this is very exciting, I believe. Yes, I couldn't agree more. And uh, obviously, you know, some of the research we are doing and, and, and the, the likes of uh, Nielsen uh, are actually conducting, uh, basically confirm just that, uh, what you're saying. Uh, like uh, one of those uh, great statistics is that 53% uh, of buyers are more likely to buy from a business they can actually message with or have a voice conversation with. Uh, that's a that's a fascinating statistic. Uh, do you happen to know um, what percentage of people actually understand that they're talking to computer generated content as opposed to a real human being? And how are people 
feeling once they know they're talking to uh, a, a computer. I thought it was a little weird at first. Then I got used to it. <laughs> I got. I recently had a chance to um, to go in an automated car. I thought it was weird the first time. Then I got used to it. Is that what you're seeing out there? Oh yes, and uh, um, and, and we also uh, we actually released a study around that uh, it was a consumer report uh, about chatbot experiences, uh, which revealed quite some uh, interesting. Uh, uh, quite some interesting uh, statistics, uh, actually. Um, so, um, well, one of the things, you know, to your point, uh, that uh, actually 80% have had a very positive experience with a chatbot, um, even not knowing prior uh, uh, that, that they were actually using or that they were actually being answered by a chatbot, right? Um, uh, however, on the downside as well, you, you know, uh, 35 or 36% of the consumers actually think that the accuracy of a chatbot answer uh, requires significant improvement, so to say. So I guess as an industry, we are uh, just getting started there. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, some other great stats I, uh, I'm happy to share. Right. I like what I like what you say about uh, getting started, because that's really what we're talking about. It's it's not that it's not good enough. It's just we're at the beginning of this process. And a year, two years, five years from now, I have a feeling these chatbots are going to be completely 100 uh, percent indiscernible from actual living human beings. Absolutely agree. Exactly. Yes. So why do you think chatbots are continuing to gain popularity these days with businesses um, and brands and customers in general? Yeah, so that's a good question. And, and basically, I think in, a, in everything we do, uh, consumers need to experience the easiest way to communicate and the easiest, you know, creating the most uh, comfortable experience. And uh, so in the end, I think we need to just make it simpler for, cons- you know, for, for consumers to buy from you, right? Uh, in this case, from a hotel chain. And um, um, uh, I think that, that's, that's most significantly um, the, 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 the ease of use is basically the point where we uh, where we want to focus on and as an industry ai ai powered uh, websites are changing the game by providing a personalized end to end experience for consumers um, and and one reply can actually increase the likelihood of conversion by 50% um, another another uh, great example is that uh, fr- from the well that's a that's a huge yeah, number yes. you could it goes up by almost 50% that's a massive it's a massive number, and I hope all the hoteliers listening out there um, really uh, take that um, to heart because it can make a, a, an impactful change to right. your business. And initial studies also show that the, you know that, that uh, the, the, the conversation, you know, any any type of voice-driven conversation, uh, basically has a, uh, a visitor 100 times more likely to convert, right? Because it's a simpler, more human type of way of interacting with your consumer. Um, so uh, yes, uh, I, I definitely agree that uh, we uh, we need to uh, we need to take use, and the hotels need to actually start embracing this uh, this technology and making sure they are ready for it. And I think also even understanding the context in which their guests are going to be formulating their request, whether it's via a regular chat or via a voice. But having that understanding and then having the data and the best response, I I, I mean, it has to influence. I'm I'm, I'm both at awe and not surprised at at the percentages that you're mentioning, that you're mentioning, Lex, because isn't it at the end that we are responding with more relevant information that is more in context of what they're asking versus just throwing a, a... digital marketing initiatives that are kind of catch-alls, but instead being driven by that context. Ooh, I love that, Estella. So what you're really saying is that instead of throwing everything out there in attempts to appeal to everyone while appealing to probably nobody, you could really go to the heart of uh, that person's psychographic and connect with them in a more meaningful way. Yeah, because at the end, you, you want that interaction, that chat box interaction to be meaningful. In order to do that, you have to take into consideration the context in which that person is formulating the request and the intent of what they're trying to do with it. And so, again, w- working through through all of those scenarios makes your offers much more relevant. Or, or, or at least I, I would think that from, from a strategy perspective of, of the objective that you're trying to reach with the chat box. Uh, uh, technology legs. What what do you think? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <clears throat> in the end, you know, the intent and the context in, in voice search is really important, and we basically need, uh, you know, we need to empower 
the engines which serve those answers with the correct information. Mm -hmm. which and that's obviously the business we are in and uh, do a little bit of self-promotion here uh, but it's about structured data um, in semantic search and uh, yeah to your point intent and context are really, really relevant meaning that we basically have to um, educate the brand the hotel brands to start collecting uh, um, and, uh, more information around their location about their services etc uh, to, to, to basically power uh, power uh, the search engines to provide the right answers to the consumers uh, with the right intent and the right context. So a chatbot is only going to be as effective as how much energy and effort humans put into creating the right type of system. So another way of saying that is that it's only as strong as it's, uh, you know, weakest information link. You could say that, even though it's self-learning, by the way. Uh, so that's the nice, uh, the nice, uh, uh, the nice thing about it. But it definitely starts with serving the right data, and that's uh, most dominantly, partly a human, uh, uh, human effort. Mm -hmm. Right. And then by using machine learning, what we're talking about here is it'll uh, start to adapt over time to become more intelligent based on the history of where it's been. So it learns just like you and me. Well, learns like us. I don't know about all, all living people. but And, that's and really then cool. imagine that the, the discovery that is gained with the feedback of that of that machine learning also bringing it back to the original context upon which the 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 response was created. So I agree with Lex. It's, it's a very exciting time. I think even if, if our, our hoteliers are to start to take a, a, a slow approach, but definitely an approach towards serving that audience and, and beginning to create and understand uh, the, the, the intent of those people that visit them online. And like, I think, I think this is not only for chains. I think independent hotels can very much benefit from this as well, since, since they tend to know their markets and their properties very, very well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Individual hotels are definitely, uh, they, you know, and they can actually, they can actually distinguish themselves from a major brand. It, it mm -hmm. is, and it voice, uh, you know, specifically making themselves ready for voice search querying, and uh, um, you know, they could actually be. Uh, th th it's a nice time, actually, as you say. Uh, small brands can actually uh, be perceived as a uh, um, and perform better than a global brand if they just act upon voice search readiness, so to say. Mm -hmm. So if people are, are looking to incorporate a, a chatbot into their hotel business, either at a brand or an independent property, what are some of the things that they should consider before making a decision? Because I think what we've already established is it needs to be working both when uh, I'm standing in my kitchen thinking about the travel experience or if I'm on site to help facilitate a better experience while on property. Right. So I would, uh, well, I would, I would, I would start um, with accurate data. As we just pointed out, uh, accurate data is key to any any type of consumer experience. So having the data structured, having a, um, um, uh, getting, basically getting all the information around your location, your hotel uh, uh, location, getting that accurate, um, and getting that distributed to all the search engines is uh, what we refer to as location management, listing management, um, mm -hmm. is I would say first and foremost. Then, as a second, you know, uh, as a second step, um, uh, ensure that you are voice search ready. So, what uh, so, so, you know, some of the research we've done is to uh, is there where we identified the most critical directories where you actually have to be present uh, because those directories are being used by most voice search engines, which are Yelp, Bing, and uh, Google, of course. And um, um, most most companies actually underestimate the value of uh, of Bing, uh, possibly, uh, but they are actually being used by most uh, by most uh, voice enabled uh, um, search engines. Meaning that you know that will be the absolute start. Uh, and, um, you know that, that's what any hotel chain or an individual hotel operator should actually start with. And then obviously you could, from there on you can actually incre increase the. Yeah, consumer engagement, and that's by um, managing your reviews, for instance, right? Very, very important for uh, for uh, the experience. Uh, it's based, most one of the most critical decision uh, purchasing decision uh, uh, means out there, uh, which you can actually manage as a hotel. So uh, review management, 
responding timely to a review is also very, very important. Um, where we also saw that, uh, that the, the perceived uh, uh, experience around a brand is dominantly, um, is dominantly powered by the, by the responsiveness to either refuse, but also to the responsiveness of conversation. Right, so the last part of that, you know, once you also, uh, you, when, once you've kind of, you know, have your review management and response management in place, I think then the next, the next level would be to empower a, uh, an, a conversational commerce platform, which uh, basically, um, as, as we, uh, as we just concluded and, and, and discussed, uses that, uh, uses that structured data, uh, in, in order to, to increase the consumer engagement around the. I mean, the, the experience while at the hotel, or uh, in the in the in the actually in the export of exportive phase, and also post acquisition or post uh, uh, yeah post acquisition of the of the hotel room, basically in order to drive continued engagement and loyalty with that consumer. Uh, so I think that, that's the ultimate step of of, of the engagement process is to employ, you know, embrace a uh, messaging platform uh, which is fully voice powered as well. Excellent. That makes a that makes a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, a, a really smart way to do it. So, um, where is this all going to go in 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 the future? Or I should say, how effective is it now? And how effective do you think these are going to be in five years from now? And um, in five years from now, is it going to be um, price of entry to have a good, robust, healthy business? Perfect. So the future. How does the future look like? Uh, very interesting question. And uh, honestly, I don't have a glass ball to to look into the future. But we see some very evident things to uh, uh, happening. Obviously, the rise of uh, voice enabled search is really really important. So you know that's something for uh, uh, hotel companies to 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 embrace and to to act upon right now uh, because we see a very 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 significant increase. So making uh, making your uh, location data and and, and your your experience. Uh, have that uh, ready to be powered for voice. Obviously, um, um, uh, driving commerce. Um, so basically, we uh, we as a business also uh, help customers to basically create as many consumer touch points in order to engage with the brand. Whether uh, whether people are looking in Google Maps or Apple Maps, uh, um, uh, whether they are actually on their uh, authentic website, everywhere you want to be able to engage with the brand uh, or with the consumer. So that uh, that's what we see as a very significant point to address uh, by any type of hotel brand uh, or individual operator. By that means, is that you know you, you create uh, the ease that every single consumer can engage with you as a brand through the messaging platform they're currently using, right? Uh, or uh, whether that would be Facebook, WeChat, whether that would be WhatsApp, uh, or, or just an Apple Maps by, um, by by business chat. So I think you know in terms of uh, where to focus on uh, as, a, as a hotel brand. Uh, it's all about voice, structured data around voice, and enabling and, and, and embracing a uh, basically a conversational commerce platform. Uh, I think that's the most uh, things to address right now to tackle the near future of, of search and engagement. So, uh, you know, I, I, love the, I love doing this hotel tech podcast, and Estelle, I know you're going to uh, agree with me because we get to really talk about all these nascent technologies that are already making an impact, but I have an opportunity for a huge seismic shift in our business. So, um, Estelle, to wrap it up here, how do you see um, chatbots being incorporated into the uh, average hotelier's life? Well, first, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take one step back and just thank Lex for bringing us back do it. to really the the the, the the focus and, and, and the means to the end and that end being the engagement with guests and, and building on what Lex mentioned, number one for our audience, remember to manage your business listings. Remember that that is what will keep you relevant and up to date on the web. Do not lose sight of those voice powered engines, Yelp, Bing, Google listing, and then that 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 goal that objective of reaching conversational powered engagement with that guest using technology to do that but again technology is the means and engaging with the guest is the end so i think like at at the end when when we talk about the different uh, uh tools and techniques and technologies that are available 
uh, uh, for creating that context, for understanding that intent, for discovering what the path to purchase uh, uh, exists. That's what we as technologies get excited about. We want you to uh, tell our audience more about Uberall, but uh, um, again, just to remind our audience that we are working on these initiatives and these technologies to reach that end, which is more engagement, relevant engagement with your guests. That's very well. Great. So, uh, uh, Lex, any final thoughts? And, uh, of course, tell us a little bit about uh, Uberall. Yes, no, of course. You know, and uh, as to your point, uh, Uberall is a glo- global leader in location marketing technology. Um, we have a location marketing cloud platform empowering the world's biggest brands to uh, to connect with the costu- uh, with their you know basically with their consumers and uh, turn uh, online interactions into uh, offline sales, so to say, and increasingly uh, enhance the, the, the engagement with con- with the consumer during the entire path from purchase to after sales and creating loyalty. So that is, uh, I think. Uh, you know, yeah. In a nutshell, what Uberall is about, and uh, one, you know, other than that, we just wanted to thank you uh, for for your time today, and uh, thank you so much for inviting me uh, to join this podcast. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, this was uh, this was absolutely great. Um, uh, Estelle, any final thought from you? Uh, just thank you so much, and reminding our audience that we will be live at High Tech, and looking forward to seeing everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're going to be live at High Tech, which as we're, we're releasing this should be any day now or <laughs> next week or something like that. All right, little uh, little behind the scenes hint. We record these things in advance. It's not coming to you the day of, uh, of, of release. But I'm really looking forward to this. Estelle, it's going to be so much fun working with you in person, getting so many great interviews. So if you're not going to be at High Tech, I suggest registering uh, right mm-hmm. now to do that and then come and, and find us. We'll be out and about recording. And, of course, if you like this show, we'd love for you to uh, – Check out all of our past shows, and you can find those on SHR's website. And you can find that at shr.global and, of course, at novacancynews.com and on the No Vacancy News feed on iTunes, on Google Play, on Stitcher, and wherever finer podcasts are found and if you want to join our sunday night newsletter and get the uh, information on all the podcasts that we put out over here text the word hotel to 66866 it'll prompt you for your email and then you'll be uh, all registered that's hotel to 66866 i want to thank uh, everybody for listening in today um so for estella lex and myself glenn i promise we are not chatbots but chatbots <laughs> are the future see you all next time thanks for listening 